back to air at military collectibles. So today's video we are looking at the evolution of the Australian soldier in Vietnam. So we're looking from the uh, late 60s until they withdrew uh, from the Vietnam conflict. When they initially went into Vietnam they had they were using an awful lot of shall we say outdated equipment such as 44 pattern webbing, uh, they even had the 08 big large pack that they were using as a backpack. Um, the, their uniforms as well were updated to the uniform that I'm wearing now, which is known as the Pixie uniform. Um, so there's a couple of caveats with this, a couple of things that aren't completely historical. You very rarely see them using slings on their, on their FNs or their SLRs. Um, I just had this it's on it from storage, so that's it. And the other one is my boots are incorrect. These are the combat high boots. I don't actually have uh, uh, boots of the time period in that era. Um, but I, I actually do have an original pair, but just not in my size. So, uh, but they're just pretty much the exact same. They're a plain black boot. Um, this is a common thing you will see with the field dressing being attached to the buttstock or either underneath this as well. Um, their FNs, they, they can't remember the designation that they had on their rifles or their SLRs. They would cut this centre piece out to help with air cooling and also on the bottom as well. But other than that, the SLR was pretty much the same standard rifle that you see here. So, I'm just going to put this on the ground. So, the weapon that they would have used, this is the M56. This is the American pattern. Now, I have done a video on how you can tell the difference between American and Australian. Um, this is one, this is magazine pouches done for the SLRs. Um, which it's, it's larger than the M56 standard because they were using the Brit the Americans were using the M16, whereas the uh, Australians were using the SLRs along with the New Zealanders and stuff like that. I have it done up pretty much standard, as you would see them wearing at the time, which is two ammunition pouches, two water bottle pouches, and a bump pack, as they call it. Or a, um, and you will see this the famous toggle rope or length of rope that they carried on a carabiner. Um, you will see them wearing backpacks as well. Uh, in, in this part of the conflict, they had a st uh, uh, an actual specific backpack that came out later in the war. That I will, I actually have one. I will do a video on it. Um, and there's certain ways to sell early ones and later ones. But the actual uniform, once I just take the webbing off, is known as the pixie uniform. And if any of you go back as far as, I probably will leave a link to the other video that I did on the early Australian uniform. But when you see the pixie uniform. It's it's completely different. So they've done away with the cross belt on the pants. Um, you have a pocket on either side, whereas the other one didn't have that. Um, the shirt then is different, whereas the shirt had uh, just square pockets. These are diagonal pockets, and you have one on each sleeve uh, for notebooks and pens and things like that. You see them working with the shirt tucked in, or tucked out. I have it tucked out because we're on a patrol, but we do see them as well with the shirts tucked in. And um, it's it's just a standard olive drab uniform. And then the hat, that, as always, is still the giggle hat. You very rarely see them wearing helmets in Vietnam compared to the Americans. Uh, maybe on static guards and stuff like that, you will see them with their helmets on, but rarely. It's, it's normally either their slouch hats or their um, slouch hats when they were in camp or berets, depending on what regiment they were. And, um, Giggle hat, giggle hats as well as the same thing. So that's it. It's just, it's it's this is an all original. Um, everything that I have on in this uniform is original. This, this jacket is 67, or the shirt is 67, and the pants is 68 or 69 or something along those lines. Um, so that's it. it. It's just a quick overview. It's a very simple, very simple impression to put together if you do have the time and the effort. There are reproductions of these, but the originals are still out there, you can still find them. Um, and you can still find them in men's sizes rather than kids' sizes. Um, this is a bit snug on me, but uh, it's, it, it's, it's still fine, but you do get reproductions of them anyway. So I hope you liked what we provide here on Air and Military Collectibles. Please like, please subscribe and please tune in for the next video. And if you want to get in contact with the channel, as always, there will be an email at the top of the video description. Thank you.